find the product of their three fractions. We multiply three fractions, just like we multiply two fractions. To multiply, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. But of course, we have to make sure the result is simplified, which means we have to simplify out all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. To multiply the three fractions, the numerator is three times four times 15. And the denominator is five times nine times 24. It'll be easier to simplify before determining the products. One way to do this is to find the prime factorization of each factor. Let's use this method to simplify before multiplying. Three is prime. The prime factorization of four is two times two. And the prime factorization of 15 is three times five. In the denominator, five is prime. The prime factorization of nine is three times three. Let's find the prime factorization of 24 using a factor tree. 24 is equal to four times six. Four is equal to two times two. And six is equal to two times three. The prime factorization of 24 is three factors of two and a factor of three. So we have two times two times two times three. Now that we have the prime factorization of each factor, we can actually see the common factors between the numerator and denominator that will simplify to one. Remember a fraction bar means division, and therefore three divided by three simplifies to one here, as well as here. Two divided by two simplifies to one here, as well as here. And finally, five divided by five simplifies to one here. Now that we've simplified out all of the common factors between the numerator and denominator, we can multiply knowing the product will be in simplest form. In the numerator, notice all the factors that simplified to one. In the denominator, we're left with three times two, which is six. The simplified product is one-sixth. So by determining the prime factorization of each factor, we can actually see all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. But let's also take a look at a second method for simplifying before multiplying. Again, multiplying the three fractions, the numerator is three times four times 15, and the denominator is five times nine times 24. Let's see if we can simplify this without determining the prime factorization of each factor. Notice three and nine share a common factor of three, where there's one three and three, and three threes and nine. By simplifying this way, we just simplified out one common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. Notice five and 15 share a common factor of five. There's one five and five and three fives and 15. We just simplified out one common factor of five between the numerator and denominator. And notice four and 24 share a common factor of four. There's one four and four and six fours and 24. We just simplified out the common factor of four between the numerator and denominator. And notice here, there's a common factor of three. There's one three and three here as well as here. We just simplified out another common factor of three between the numerator and denominator. And now we multiply. One times one times one is one, and one times one times six is six, giving us the same product. So notice how the second method is a little bit faster than determining the prime factorization of all the factors, but it may be a little more challenging to make sure we find all of the common factors between the numerator and denominator. I hope you found this helpful.